What's up guys, this is Merc Music and I'm bringing you guys some Modern Warfare 3 Drop Zone gameplay. This is a brand new game mode to the public playlist. It's, it's under the new community playlists. And I played a few games of it. I really haven't gotten a, you know, a significant feel for it. But I feel like I can give you guys some really good tips that can help you do well. And this was probably... Uh, I don't know if it would be my best gameplay that I got from playing it at least three or four times. But it was my best KDR, so I thought I'd share it. And right here, you're going to see me calling in a Javelin. And it's going to do pretty good. It's going to pick up a triple kill. <laughs> I was waiting for it to explode. I didn't want to have to ruin it for you guys. Um, I'd have to say that if I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to play Drop Zone, this is one of the best ones. Uh, using Javelins on the Drop Zone is the easiest way to get people off of it. You know, it's kind of spammy, but it, it works. And it's a good tactic to use as well. One thing I'm going to recommend is, is that you're going to want to use either an assault rifle, SMG, or shotgun for this because, well, let's face it, sniper rifles aren't going to do very well because, especially on dome, it's very, very fast paced. And in general, I think drop zone is one of the fastest paced game modes you can play at the moment if you're constantly on the drop zone. If you're away from it like I am in this game, it's, it's a little bit different. See, what I was trying to do is I was trying to pick off kills while my teammates were getting all of the care packages. So it's a little bit different. But uh, I go on a pretty good kill streak. And why don't I explain Drop Zone a little bit better? First off, Drop Zone isn't completely new. It was available in private matches. It's an alternate game mode that you can choose in private matches. But what's different about this community playlist is that they are going to be taking popular and unique suggestions and they're going to be adding them to public playlists. Now, I bet you're wondering what this means. Well, basically, I don't think Drop Zone is necessarily the most popular private match playlist. Or game mode, sorry. I believe that the most popular one at the moment is infected but oh my god <laughs> i completely forgot about that knife hit marker and final stand that is so bad and what's even worse is me using this type 95 but you know i ran out of ammo so whatever but aside from that what i was going to say is, is that we are going to see introductions of completely possibly new uh public playlists like we might see sniper rifle lobbies or sniper lobbies you know obviously um anything that is popular basically is going to become public and when it was in private match so this is pretty amazing i'm i'm really looking forward to the introduction of public sniper lobbies and um yeah i don't know i just think it's great that they're doing this this is this is probably one of the the best things they've done now as far as it goes for the update that was released today i don't think it really fixed lag compensation as well as it should have i was i felt like um the the previous update i actually had better connection for example um I've been running 4-bar in almost every single lobby except for today. And this gameplay right here is the exception because I believe I was the host, so you know, it was really helpful in helping me get all these kills and things like that. But regardless, I don't think that the newest update has helped with connection issues as well as it could have. But you know, they're still working on it and it's going to be a while before they get it right. But regardless, oh, I wanted to give you guys some other tips on Drop Zone as well. If you noticed in the top left part of the video it says zero delta and zero spetsnaz the green is your teammates and lets you know how many teammates are on the drop zone and the red tells you how many enemies are on the drop zone so let's say you have a javelin and you see there's say four or five enemies there that would be the perfect time to shoot a javelin there or if you know that they're en route to the drop zone you can actually plan ahead of time because obviously it takes a certain amount of time for the javelin to you know explode and kill enemies so yeah also, I'd recommend using tactical insertions to get closer to the drop zone. I know I don't, I, I mean, I don't think I was really playing the objective too much this game. I start to towards the end because I realized I wasn't. So I decided, you know, cat, you know, sit on the drop zone a little bit and play the objective. But aside from that, you know, kill whoring is sometimes a pretty good way to help your team out. Look at that awful spawn. But aside from that, um, what else could I say about drop zone? This is really fast paced. It's pretty intense. And that's probably why I wouldn't recommend sniper rifles. You know, it is, you, you can use snipers. I can't say I have too much because when I did, I was dying way too many times. I, I didn't feel that it was effective enough. But regardless, as far as it goes from uh, the community playlists, I believe that there's a possibility that sniper lobbies are going to be public now. And it's kind of a, a love-hate thing because people say that it's going to ruin standards for montages and things like that. But I don't know. I think it's going to take away some, you know, some of the BS or what people consider BS in other public lobbies. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. But um, uh, yeah, as far as it goes for 
what else could be in the community playlist. I don't think Infected really has a chance of making it into the community playlist. And the reason why is because they have to be careful as to what they put into these community playlists. See, since this is going to add to your XP and things like that, this is going to be able to rank you up. They have to be very careful. And to be honest, Drop Zone doesn't seem like a the kind of game mode that can boost your XP up really fast compared to other things. But, um... Yeah, I don't think Sniper Lobbies really will either, so there's a pretty good chance that Sniper Lobbies will make it in. Infected? Uh, I'm not too sure. And same thing with Juggernaut, too. If you've played uh, Juggernaut or Team Juggernaut, or um, possibly even... You know what? Actually, I think they might bring one in the chamber back. There's a pretty good chance that they might actually do that, because uh, I don't see one in the chamber being a problem as far as it goes for ranking up and gaining XP. However, it will be very choosy, because as far as it goes for one in the chamber... In, in this game, you can choose which gun you want people to have, and every time they get a kill, you can give people like 50 bullets for each kill they get. So, one in the chamber is going to be uh, a questionable one. But as far as it goes for that, I think there's going to be introductions of newer game modes that we haven't seen as alternate modes in private matches either. So, I think this is just an incredible update. And, oh my god, I can't believe... <laughs> uh, that was just terrible. I thought he was trying to take that MMS, but that was just a dead body. Uh, but regardless, uh, I'm going to keep playing in this game mode. Right now, this is probably my favorite in Modern Warfare 3. I feel like it's the fastest paced. Uh, it's really just a lot of fun. So if you guys haven't played this yet, go on Modern Warfare 3. If you haven't already, get the update and try to play this. Now, I will say this. There were some server problems when I was trying to play. I It took me forever to try to get into some games. But when I did, I was like, okay, I've got to get this gameplay. And sure enough, our team did very well as far as it goes for holding the drop zone and kill death wise i did pretty well so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you can please drop a like to show your support and yeah that's basically it uh hopefully i'll be bringing you guys that flawless gold barrett mob so don't forget to follow me on twitter for all of my youtube channel updates and open lobby posts as well become a fan of merc music on facebook by clicking the link down in the description below if you haven't already feel free to subscribe to the channel for future videos that i will be releasing and as always, guys, don't forget to check out the previous video by clicking the annotation on the screen. Thanks, guys.